ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Westwise, the family quiz about your town and region, introduced by Ian Brass. Good evening, it's the West Country's fun quiz that everyone's talking about. I'm not really quite sure what they're saying about it at the moment, but we'll go down the supermarket later on and find out. Right, welcome to Westwise, in which we feature questions about the West Country with contestants from the West Country. Our teams are Penzance. First team member is Tamara. How are you? All right, thank you. Good, good. Tell me a bit about yourself then. I'm presently studying A-levels at Penwith College. Are Penzance. you? What's the badge? What's the badge? That's Winston <laughs> Churchill, and the Malcolm, Malcolm Miller. Miller. What's that? It's a sail training schooner. Oh. So it went on last year. Oh, very nice. Yes, we've seen films of those and pretty good <laughs> as well. Welcome to uh, our little competition. And team member number two is John. Hello. Hello. Tell me a bit about yourself. I'm a local government officer and I come from just outside Penzance uh, in a village called Mausel, oh, where no. my family goes back to the Middle Ages. Oh, do they? Yes. Very, very long good. established. We'll see how far we can get back during the course of the, uh, the competition. And right at the end, third team member. Evening, Jim. Evening. Everything well with you? Very well indeed, right. thank you. What do you do with yourself? Uh, not a great deal now. I was born in Newlyn, Apaka, but I emigrated to Penzance, met my <laughs> wife. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Excellent. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is our Penzance team. For this evening. Up against our Penzance team this evening, a smart looking team we have as well from Newquay. First off, Louise, tell me a bit about yourself. I'm studying for A levels at Newquay Trotheris School yes. in German, English, and biology. With a view to doing what? What are you going to get up to in a later date? I'd like to be a physiotherapist and perhaps work in Germany. We have a few problems with um, our bodies at the moment. You can give us a going over later on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Second team member is Dawn. Evening, Dawn. Good evening. Tell me a bit about yourself then. Well, yes. I'm a housewife, and in my spare time, I'm a member of the Newquay Ladies Lifeboat Guild. So oh, you're the one who pushes the lifeboat out, aren't you? Well, occasionally. Yes. We're very short handed, yeah. Yes, because your Louise can give you a bit of physiotherapy when you put your shoulder out. I hope so. Yes, excellent. Uh, second team member is Dawn, and third team member for our Newquay team is Paul. Tell me a bit about yourself. Well, I'm retired, there's not much else to say. I don't really. That's it, I'm, I'm a gentleman of leisure. I'm a gentleman of leisure, I don't really. They do anything at all other than washing up and mending the roof oh, and cutting the grass. Oh, you poor thing. Oh, Paul. About a thousand other things. Yes, <laughs> excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, that is our new key team. <laughs> we will now give you a Westwise demonstration. One of the questions later in the show has an answer that, with the aid of clues portrayed within a jolly romp, will be easy to find. The round is called Hysterical Bite. <laughs> if you don't laugh, we come and bite you. Our very own Westwise players will act out a scene for us. Their task is to give clues via a little sketch to a question I'll ask later. Here's an example. Ladies and gentlemen, the Westwise players. Hey, I'm in the process of forming a very exclusive club. Would you like to join? I certainly would. Well, there are only two qualifications, and I know that you satisfy both of them. Mm. First of all, you must be a dedicated fan of Stan Laurel. I certainly am. And secondly, you must be born under the star sign Aries, the sign of the ram. <laughs> and that sketch contains clues to help you answer this question. What name was given to the legal courts found in parts of Cornwall and Devon which exercise particular legal rights in respect of minors? That's just Stannery. a Stannery. 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 All of you. Very well done. Excellent. <laughs> All the clues were there. Well done. A fan of Stan and under the sign of Aries you've got your Stan Aries. A man that I know very well, of course. Right. Let's tell you exactly what uh, our teams are competing for. All the teams are competing for this specially commissioned cut glass Royal Briley Bowl. And now we move into our place names round. Place names round. Okay, Penzance, your place name is um, Market Jew. Your place name, Market Jew. Now we have 
three possible orange orig origins. Orange? Yes, some, some oranges that were here at the Tuesday market. No, they're not. They could be. The B is Jewish market, or C, Thursday market. Does market Jew come yep. from A, Tuesday market, B, Jewish market, or C, Thursday market? Thursday market. Thursday market, Jim? Correct. Very well done. <laughs> market Jew comes from Thursday market. Right then, Yuki, yours, toe and head. Right, there it is, toe and head. Is it A, seashore head? Is it B, towing head? Or is it C, donate? Or is it C, down head? Seashore head, towing head, or down head? Or toe and head? Where's its a. origin? We think it's A. You think it's A, seashore head? Correct, well done. <laughs> Very well done. Right, Penzance, have a famous face for you. On your monitors and your screens at home, we have zoomed in on the eyes of a famous face. As we pull back, we reveal more of that famous face. The more we reveal, the less points you get. Here are those eyes. Right. Right, there's five points there for those eyes. On your buzzers, as soon as you know. There's down to four points. Oh, a, a half an ear and half a nose, two eyes, down to three. Down to three. Ooh, two points. Oh, I know who that is, nearly, I think. Hold on, might be. Ah, do now. For one point. For one point? No? No, we'll have to have it all. Guess, guess who it is? Ready? No? Any name? Trevor Francis would do, if you like. No. <laughs> oh, John. Oh, John. It was Trevor Francis, most certainly. Right, Yuki, your chance now. <laughs> Now, have a look at your screens on your monitor. There's the pair of eyes as soon as you've any ideas. Oh, there we go with the bell for Nuki. It was on, it was on four. It was on four. David Owen. David Owen. You reckon David Owen, Dawn? Like, let's take away those blanked out pieces. It is. Is it? Is it? Is it? Let's have the lot. It is. David Owen. Excellent. Right, historical bite part of the programme. Malcolm and Terry performed for you a little earlier on. They're back to give you more clues. Via this little sketch to the answer of a question I'm going to give in a moment. Listen carefully, both teams, and watch closely. Welcome once again, the Westwise players. Well, what are all these tubes and pipes for, Bill? Well, it's my latest invention mm -hmm. for illuminating a dark room. All you do is dig up a piece of fossilized vegetation, burn it, force the gases through a pipe, and ignite the end. It'll never replace the candle. Mm, those are all the clues. All the clues are there. Here's your question. Right, Penzance, in 1792, William Murdoch was the first person in the world to use what as a means of illumination in his office in Redruth, Cornwall? Coal gas. Coal gas, excellent, Jim. Spot on. Exactly what I want. Well done. OK, Westwise players have organised themselves again and another <laughs> performance. We must think what to call our ships. A name that will strike terror to the hearts of our victims. Come on, man, think. I know. Let's call them rowing boats. Not impressive enough, lad. These ships are much longer than rowing boats. I oh, know then. Let's call them long boats. No, no, my lad. These are seafaring vessels not for use on inland waterways. I've got it. Odin has given me a sign. One day, someone may even name a lighthouse after them. We'll call them... And that sketch contains clues to this question. Which famous lighthouse is to be found some one and a half miles out to sea from Land's End? Longships. You reckon longships, Paul? Correct. Well done. Well done. Longships. Right, hometown round Penzance, hometown round on the buzzer so we can zoom in on who has the correct answer. Which famous son of the town achieved world renown for his work on electrolysis, um, isolating chemicals and naming gases, but will always be remembered for something completely different? 
Yes, John. It was Sir Humphrey Davy. Sir Humphrey Davy, of course. 1779, he was born. Inventor of the miner's safety lamp. Right. Cover that one up. Don't want you to cheat in here. Right. Newquay. Where was Newquay's second harbour? It's a harbour of refuge. Sorry. <laughs> yes, go, go, go then, John. A harbour of refuge near the old lifeboat house on the left-hand side, looking towards the top mm. of the headland. Uh, give me a beach. A uh, little fish pool beach. A certain head. Town head. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> well, well done. Well done, Well done, Dawn. Off town head on fish pool beach. Excellent. Right, we're back with Penzance. Right, here we go. Where in the town are the remains of what is considered to be one of the oldest theatres in the country? Where in the town, the town obviously of Penzance, are the remains of what is considered to be one of the oldest theatres in the country? Rear of the, do you want this first? Rear of the Union Hotel in Chapel Street. Jim, have you been peeping over my shoulder? Because <laughs> yeah. that's two in a row, yeah. exactly <laughs> what I have on here, at the rear of the Union Hotel. Excellent, Jim. Excellent. Oh. Right. Back to Newquay. During what war was the roundhouse built? You may have been there, Paul. I think I was, actually. Yes. Uh, Napoleonic Wars. <laughs> you were, you were, <laughs> Napoleonic Wars. Excellent. <laughs> To Penzance. Which Penzance girl achieved fame as a leading lady in the television series Howard's Way? Go on then, Tamara. Jan Harvey. Jan Harvey, correct. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> right then, here we go. Put another one for you, Newquay. What precious metals have been mined in Newquay and where? Uh, what precious metals have been mined in Newquay and where? Well, copper. And tin on, and I think lead on Mount Wise. Silver and lead, the only other two I've got here. The other one may be on Mount Wise, at Mount Wise. Excellent, well done. <laughs> right. Okay then, Penzance, in what year did the Spaniards burn the town? Any 1595. <laughs> Sorry. What does it matter, Jim? Yes, you can have this one if you like, Jim. When? John will know. Oh, John will know. We all know. 1595. 1595. <laughs> Correct. The Spaniards burnt the town of Penzance. 1595. Now then, Yuki, I'm more likely to pronounce this incorrectly, but you'll put me straight. What famous family lived in Glen Dorgal? Go then, Dawn. The Tangies. The Tangies. Did I pronounce that correctly? Yes, I think so. Oh, you think so? Yeah. You haven't got a clue? The Tangies. <laughs> correct. Correct. So at the end of the hometown round, as we leave you for the break, we'll be back in a moment. It is Penzance with six, but in the lead with ten, Yuki. After uh, a very nice break for us. Right, when you left us, Penzance had six points, but in the lead with ten, Yuki. A little ripple of applause for them. Yeah. Right. Round five is what's the use? Here, Penzance. <laughs> I'll give him a hand. No, 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 no. Save it for later. Right, there you are, Penzance. What is the use? Hold it up there and for. And for viewers at home, if you don't want to know what it is, turn away now. That's what it is upon your screen. Right. Right. Look back. You can look back now and look at our competitors. Jim's got a bit of an idea there. Yeah, go uh, We think it's a former for making gloves, as they do in Somerset and Dorset to get the right shape of a particular glove for a person. It's adjustable, so it can presumably move to different sizes of hand. Hmm. I don't know. It's, it's all, yeah, I think, I think uh, we don't do halves here, do we? <laughs> it is actually for, uh, for keeping shape, the shape of gloves. It's actually a glove stretcher. 
But um, do, well, I'll, I'll ask our other team. Do you think that's worthy of a point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's Sunday <laughs> night. Yes, yeah, worthy of a <laughs> point. <laughs> Penzance get a point. <laughs> I hope you'll be as nice to Nuki in a moment. <laughs> there is yours. What's the use? Present Have a look at that one. <laughs> Mm. Right, if you don't want to know at home exactly what this is, turn away. Right, you can turn around now. And have a, hold it up a bit. I know it's got a good deal of woodworm in it, dear, but it is quite old. Is it really? Is it a um, butter pat? You reckon? What do you think over there? You know, we give it to him? <laughs> it's a butter pat. Spot on! <laughs> Very well done, Louise. Right. Right, move my hand out of the way, moving back with Penzance. It's a where are we round. On your screens, you will, um, on your monitor and your screens at home, a small part of a local <coughs> view. Now, this is where games could be won or lost. This is for four points. A small part of a local view coming up for you. Now, as soon as you know, press your button. There you are. That's four points. <laughs> ah, stopped on four, stopped on four. It's the Egyptian house in Chapel Street in Penzance. Let's have a look. I'm not sure myself. Let's pull back. Down to three points. Down to two. There's the one point. There it is. The Egyptian house. Spot on. Yes. Oh, Nuki. Right. Exactly the same for you. A picture, a local view will, will come up, a small part of your local view as we pull back, reveal more of that view. So for four points, here's that small part. Press the button as soon as you know. Ah, three. Ah, two. Oh, Victoria Hotel. Ah, uh, press your button, press button. Victoria Hotel. The what? Victoria Hotel. The Victoria Hotel. Hotel, let's have a look. Oh, it's the oh, headland. <laughs> it's the headland. <laughs> a good try. You knew it was a hotel. It's the wrong one. It's the wrong one. Right, back to Penzance, golden oldies. A picture will appear on your screens. Right, what you need to do is basically look at it. Uh, it's an event from many a year gone by. Where are we? Um, well, what's happening? It's, uh, yes, it's Penzance Harbour, the, uh, the wet dock. And mm. there's a, a ship which is entering, which looks as if it may be on a maiden voyage. Perhaps it's one of the, um, the ferries that goes to the Scilly Isles. Right. It you... looks as if it's probably um, maybe about 100 years ago. Mm. It is, um, you've spotted that it's the dock. It's the floating dock, and it is very early. You, you've spotted it to be about 100 years ago. Um, we'll give you that. It's the opening of the floating dock. So, yes, we'll give you that. Excellent, Penzance. Well done. Round of applause there. <laughs> right, Nuki, once again, your golden oldie coming up. Here is the picture. Lots of things happening there. Oh, it's Nuki Harbour. Oh, it's Nuki Harbour. Mm-hmm. Um, those are schooners. Yeah. Nuki Harbour. Yes, I know. It must be back at the turn of the century. Turn of the century. Half yeah. time. It's uh, the, the um, railway key is, is there, so it must be uh, after 1874. Mm. Uh, what else? I shall not let you labour any longer, Paul. It is New Key Harbour, 1890. Spot on. Well done. Very good. Right, Penzance, watch this sketch, a hysterical bite. If you don't laugh, we'll bite your legs. Once again, Malcolm and Terry will give you clues via a little sketch to answer a question that I'll give you in a moment. Listen carefully, watch closely, the Westwise players. <laughs> well, that's what you get for overindulgence, chronic indigestion. Well, as your surgeon, sir, May I recommend one of my world-famous minty-flavoured lozenges, guaranteed to, s to heal a score and ten ailments? Mm. All the clues there, scribbling away there, John. You can make sure <laughs> you get this. Here's your question. All the clues within that sketch. Who designed the breakwater off the hoe, and how long did it take to build? What must it take? 30 years. 30 years. Yeah. Yeah. 
Who designed the breakwater off the hoe and how long did it take to build? Smeaton. All the clues were there. Sir John. Sir John. Sir John. All the clues well, were there. Well, we think it was 30 years. I'll give you that building. correct. Correct, 30 years. Nearly 30 years. Sir John Minto? Sir John Minto. <laughs> Sir John Minto. <laughs> Sir John <laughs> Rene. Oh. 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 Oh, such an awful answer. You're not even getting anything for the 30 years. <laughs> oh, <Minto. dear. laughs> oh, <I'm so> <laughs> Nuki! Nuki, the Westwise players are organizing themselves nicely for a sketch. Listen carefully, watch closely as they perform for you now. Holy fashion statement, Batman. This new cape you've bought will knock the penguin's eyes out. Where did you get it? Robin? I bought this cape in Cornwall. <laughs> All the clues are there to this question. The only headland in England and Wales to have the title cape is to be found in the West Country. What's it called? Cape, cape Cornwall. Dawn. Cape Cornwall. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> well done. Okay, teams. Fingers on buzzers. It is. Penzance with 12, Nuki with 13. It's all down to the quick fire questions. Right, fingers on buzzers. What is the highest peak in Cornwall? Mm -hmm. All right, we'll move with Penzance. Is it John? It's Brown Willie. Brown Willie, correct. Well done. Right, what is Cornwall's motto as seen on its crest? Ooh, we'll have to go with Penzance again. It's. Uh, go on. All right, yeah. either one. <laughs> one and all. One and all. Well done. Correct. Which particular blessing ceremony takes place at Bude in August of each year? Which particular blessing ceremony takes place at Bude in August of each year? I'll go with Penzance again. It's the blessing of the sea. Blessing of the sea, correct. Excellent. Uh, you might have measured it yourself, but how long is the coastline of Cornwall? Is it A, 326 miles, B, 450, or C, 550? All right, we'll go with Yuki. Is that you, Louise? Yeah. How many? A. A, 326. Correct. Well done. Right, Dolly uh, Pentreath, who died in 1778, was supposedly the last Cornish person able to do what? Oh, I think it's the buzzer. I think I'll go with Penzance. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> she was supposedly the last person to speak Cornish. As a native language, correct, correct. I'll fit one quick one in. The first scheduled helicopter service in Europe operating in Cornwall where? Penzance to the Sillies. Penzance helicopter to Sillies, correct. Well done, Penzance there. <laughs> right, let's have a look at the final scores. Newquay with 14, but with a 17 points. Great. No winners of Penzance. <laughs> That's it for this week. Join us next week when we could feature a team from your town taking part in Westwise.